It's hearing from state lawmakers after a bizarre moment at the Capitol today. We're learning that a gun fell off of Representative Richard Holtorf as he made his way back into the House chambers for a vote. Fox News One's Josh Rishore joins us live with what went down today. And Josh, you're hearing now also from the House Speaker. That is correct. We're hearing from him. We're going to have that statement coming up in just moments, but it happened here earlier today at the Capitol outside of the House chambers. And luckily, no one was hurt in all this, but it's still an unnerving situation. Nonetheless, the Fox 31 problem solvers looking into the laws at the Capitol today when it comes to concealed weapons. And we did some digging and found out State Representative Holtorf does have a concealed carry license, which was just renewed last year. Also, the problem solvers found this law, which states concealed weapon permit holders are also not allowed to carry a weapon inside the Capitol. So we asked officials if there are loopholes or exceptions to this law. They did not answer our questions directly. Meanwhile, today, when we visited the Capitol, we actually had to go through metal detectors ourselves. But one lawmaker tells us they don't have to go through them, and some of their cohorts are indeed armed. They have said over the years, um, in debates that they are concealed carry permit holders and that they bring them with them all the time. I believe them. The House Speaker telling us tonight in Colorado, quote, in Colorado, we expect firearm owners to be responsible at all times. And that certainly includes when they are carrying their firearms in the state capitol. It goes on to say irresponsible behavior could have dire consequences. There's another part of this statement we want to read. He says, quote, we are looking at existing laws and rules and what options might exist that would prevent this from happening again in the capitol. So watch this space. We also asked House Republicans for comment. We have not yet heard back. I'm Joshua Short, Fox 31.